Welcome back. I hear you want to learn how to integrate PHP code with a MySQL database. That is a great skill to have. Most websites and web applications these days store content and information in a database of some kind. They then use server-side code like PHP to retrieve that data and display it on the site. I've been thinking it's time to add a database to the Shirts for Mike website, and this would be a good project to show you how to get these two pieces of technology working together. We're currently storing all the product information in an array. Storing it in a database instead will make it easier to maintain as the catalog continues to grow. It will give us new flexibility for adding even more features to the site in the future. A relational database like MySQL stores data into collections known as tables. A table is a spreadsheet-like structure made of columns and rows. We'll store all the products in one table. Each row in that table will represent one shirt. Each column in that table will represent one piece of information about the shirts, the name of the shirt, the price, the path to the image, and so on. We'll look at databases and how they work in general throughout this project, but the emphasis will always be on retrieving data from the database and using it in PHP. If you don't know anything about databases, it might help to check out the Introduction to Databases badge in the Database Foundations course. Ready to go? Let's start with a look at a MySQL command to retrieve data from a database table. Commands to retrieve data are written in SQL, short for Structured Query Language. You'll often hear SQL pronounced as an acronym, SQL. These commands to retrieve data are known as queries. Let me walk you step by step through the query we'll write to retrieve product data. I'll walk you through installing MySQL and creating a table to store the product shortly, but let me first show you the query. Remember that each row in this table will contain information about one shirt. Each column in that table will represent one piece of information about the shirts. The command in SQL to retrieve data is SELECT. You start off a query with that command. You next specify which columns of data you want to retrieve, separated by a comma. To retrieve name and price, after the word SELECT, you would type a space, the word name, followed by a comma and a space, followed by the word price. You next specify what table you want to select using the keyword FROM, followed by a space, and the name of the table. Our table will be named PRODUCTS, so the command would look like this. This query retrieves the name and the price columns from the PRODUCTS table. 